As the match is about to get underway. So we are we are saying in chat here, everybody seems to be voting in terms of no beaches, but it's getting closer and closer in terms of bets wise. It's a lot more votes going towards Slavs. Uh Casa wise, C B is on the side of no beaches. I I think I'm on the same side to be honest. I think uh, <laughs> no beaches kinda have this one um as it stands. But you never know. We can uh, we might see something very interesting from Slavs. Unit wise and hero wise is always interesting because they always bring muskets and a lot of pikes for the attackers um, of Slavs. They have a lot of them and like to to jump in and about the the point and do as much damage as possible. Maul's in there as well. And then unit wise, they've got berserkers. They've got some palace guards. You've got some grey hairs. Uh, there's Fort Brasho in there. You have some iron reapers and stuff ready for it as well. Keshex as well later on for inside the map. Defensive wise. Look at the ISGs and Zykelian Militia. Look at that. That's a very interesting. There's lots of <laughs> there's lots of boxes here with Zykelian Militia going to deal with tons of damage. Probably looking to use that against the Siege Tower, I assume, from the beaches. And unit-wise, uh, hero-wise, look at the amount of muskets they have out here. They want to deal as much damage to these Siege Towers as possible. It's definitely the strategy here. Definitely. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Not gonna lie. Um, I'm also <laughs> very curious about uh, what they will switch it to uh, once. Uh, I assume once there's going to be the the Ghost X is a there. Ghost X is an Adachi player from way back when. He might switch to Nadachi. Mm -hmm. There might be a few guys uh, switching to uh, yeah Pikes, for example. Yeah, even a uh, Pikes. Even Glaive sure can be reducing it as a medium armor class. So. Yeah, true. I mean, with medium armor, depending on what attributes you have, you could you could really also play glaive. You could play any class really, as long as you yeah. like. You'll just deal a shit ton of damage. If you're um, if you're strength, yeah. yeah, for sure. If you're all strength, yeah. you're squishy, but you're you're strong. So let's see what happens. Is it going to be a strategy to take down the siege towers and stop? anybody getting up onto the wall here that's what we're going it to does, see it does look like it uh, there's two javelins out there there are so many muskets uh, it's not fair i would say it's almost <laughs> it's like we're playing counter strike or something um but yeah so we'll see what it's going to do um how many one of thing that is <laughs> yeah exactly well imagine having that here um I'm not gonna lie, the longbow might be there, but uh, yeah, no longbow. Ah, yeah. I don't think anyway, you can snipe anyway. anybody as a longbow anymore. Yeah. The damage is just not there with it. It should be, but it really isn't. <laughs> it isn't anywhere. Nope, nope. Not since. A couple of tribes being used here. Well, I say a couple of tribes. One tribe being used to take out the artillery pieces there. Yep. Uh, all right. So the left somewhere. tower already down to one HP. Uh, I hope that they leave it up to the last second. So what's going to be interesting is to see what tower they want alive because they might choose to just. Keep one alive and defend that one. Um, far right thing is, I was going to say, the far right's not even been pushed and it's dealt a lot of damage to it already, mm -hmm. but far right one I think is probably the easiest one to to defend. Ooh, they destroyed the left one already. Stuck. That's a bit early. That's a bit early. That's still good. The no, center one just... looks like that's going to get taken out in a second as well. Maybe they think they've got enough damage and enough uh, fingers to deal damage to it. And, uh, yeah, so with the, the javelins. With the javelins, you can easily take almost like a third of their of the tower's health within a couple of seconds, um, especially with all these muskets combined. So yeah, yeah, there we go. That's that. one. That's two of the tri two of the tribes down. Uh, sea showers down. They're not yeah. even. They only just started pushing the banner ram as well now. So like, they didn't even start doing that to even give themselves mm -hmm. an access point. They aren't. They aren't going to the small gate either. Is another option just in case, knowing that if they looked at the strategy that uh, the defenders have, they they should know now that okay they're. They're focusing on these siege towers. We need to find another way. <laughs> chat. Chat, chatting away about points and stuff here prediction wise but still yeah nothing really major going on that's a very interesting treb it's like nowhere near how did he manage to treb away back there where did he treb from where was that hero because he trebed over the wall and passed it like, that was very interesting hmm maybe that was a uh, 
Avi kicks it's who's on top of the right sea so far right sea tower still managing to make his way there looks like it might actually reach and be the only one to reach as the muskets and constant players of no beaches are rotating around to try and deal damage to the siege towers javelins thrown in there as well are they going to get this far right siege tower i think it's going to be too close at this point what do you think cb too close isn't it isn't they going to they're not going to have the damage for this are they yeah, the left one is going to be too close to Like the far right, they might actually be able to destroy it if they really were some better. I don't see all the javelins there, so that's not going to be enough. Yeah, javelins aren't rotating and there's not enough damage from the muskets. They are on the yeah. way, there they are. It is up, and the far left nope. one looks like that one might reach as well. Now here, mm -hmm. General Combo's riding that one all the way to the very end as the musket uh, player. But yeah, there's two trebs up, so all in all, they didn't actually take them out as much as I thought they were going to do. I thought there was going to be like another added set up of uh, having to do this year but they failed to oh, do hi, it Mark. and now there was the i assume they'll give up the wall here um but it doesn't look like they're willing to no beaches bringing up the isgs on the far left hand side here they've got the isgs on the far right hand side as well just willing to constantly use and rotate them around on top of the wall maybe use them as like a bait for trebs maybe that's what their uh, their goal is here You've got Putin yeah, in the background here trying to go towards the small gate here. He's gone inside mm -hmm. and having a having a wee scan to see what's going on around there. But they don't have any units from Slavs here. There's no units anywhere near the, the siege tower or even looking to go up the siege towers. Mm -hmm. They still have units yeah. on the outside. So, so and also look look at the units from Slavs. There's three Imperials. Oh no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong units there. But um there's lots of Berserkers. Uh two Shenjis. Um so that is a good lineup to fight on the walls at least. Uh, but if you look at uh, Lineup from no beaches. There's three Sakali militia, and that is very hard to deal with if you're trying to go out of the siege tower. Yeah, so, especially when they've got that many ISGs there, just protecting. Mm -hmm. I mean, because they can tank the Berserker rush like so well, and still manage to keep the units that are inside protected. So that's uh, that's obviously been looked at from uh, no beaches to see what is the strategy here for for this. Interesting but, that no beaches have got six muskets as well. Oh, hello, Nick. Hello. <laughs> uh, are you saying six? Just you should be in. saying eight, actually. It's eight yeah, there's like eight of them, I think. Yeah. yeah, I can't push that. I could just see six on the map. All right, I think this is a smart call. They're, they're rotating all the way to the right each tower. This gives them more space. So they, they will have the no beaches all in front of them. Um, but as you can see, no beaches do want to fight on that each tower and probably make absolute the most uh, out of those Italian missions. Yeah. Also, what because this is good in the attack side as well, because if they start to cluster up all their units, mm -hmm. they're in more of a treble position. They're all the throwing the Kalyan at, at the, the guys waiting downstairs. This is going yeah, to look be at so all that damage. flames going down the bottom there. Yeah. You've got also got all the muskets just dealing all the caltrop damage mm -hmm. and all the musket bomb damage as well. So the units, before they even get up that siege tower, are going to be practically like half health, ready for just one unit to stop them here. Yeah, the units in the back, but it's in the back there, there really. Yeah. Even more on the siege tower, this is absolutely amazing from no beaches. They're not allowing the enemy to go, in. and the trap is not available right now, and it can't even hit properly on this, uh, this stair sand. Yeah, the oh way it is goodness. in the position, it would pretty much take out more of the attackers pushing up here. You'd have to treb the just off to the left. Well, they are trying to treb, but it's just going too far. Mm -hmm. And they've managed to wipe out the heroes here. They're down to nine on the attack already. And unit-wise, they've lost 249 units here out of... Uh, out of their attack from that first yes. attack. Slavs should just try and rotate as fast as they can to perhaps even the left and see if they can go in uh, or from the inside of the city. Uh, do they have the gate open? No, gate's still closed, so they can't even go to the supply to interrupt that because Kalin are already getting their new ammo. If they were on the supply right now, they could have killed two, three units of Kalin and Mishader. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'll uh, share the screen in here for you. See, uh, plain fingers if you want. I can see from CB's point of view, but thank you. <clears throat> oh, you watched the CB's one, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't want to interrupt before, so I wrote him if he could see, share his screen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so Zikalians are back on the wall again, still with the tree. They, they didn't lo lose a single of the ball boys there. All right. Different approach, left siege tower, still same ID, and looks like it's going to be the same plan for Norwegians again. Look at the Imperial Shield just blocking the, the, the ladder. 
Yeah, the pre-trib that time was a little bit better, but the units mm-hmm. still are that slow because it's ISGs that they're moving, so they're not really getting the unit, the use of the, the tread damage. Um, but they're eventually getting their units set up there at the top of the wall, and nobody's just doing a fantastic job to kind of stop anybody even getting onto the wall. Like, not getting onto that yeah. wall is definitely... Body fast and the start to thinking about flanking, but... Yeah. Look at that tread, it just hits the sea tower for the most part, but it does hit a few bit in the back there, but... Yeah. There's so much yeah, time wasted left, right already as well. Tom's left are trying to get in, but no, we just can just rotate. And on the left, the slots are just not not happy there. They're coming in as well, but um, the units oh, might be too low. Oh, there's like win four it. heroes nice just all fall off. Make that six heroes just fall <laughs> off of the side of the siege tower yeah. and all die to the... Look at them, oh four of them fell to the One more, there they go. Oh. And there's Ooh. another. <laughs> Jesus, that is it. That is just how you do it from no beaches. This is how you defend it, guys, if you yeah. haven't already. Just bring out the mm-hmm. muskets. Just bomb everybody off of the siege tower. They can't get up. They can't go onto the wall. But the rotation yeah, down the bottom running is running out of siege towers here. They're back to the first one. This is absolutely yeah. insane. They, the thing is, they might need 10 siege towers, but even that wouldn't be enough. That travel back and forward from each uh, siege mm-hmm. tower is so much further than the, what it is on a wall travel like for the defenders here. And no beach is definitely came up with a good strategy here to defend slavs on the wall uh think how many muskets are just constantly coming around dealing all that damage doesn't matter that the trebs are coming in unit wise are still in favor of yeah, the defenders definitely but slavs could make a big change here uh, if no we just take too much time fighting here on this wall and the reinforcements from slavs actually manage to get on the eight point and block it off then they could still take the eight point but they need to be very quickly with the re- reinforcements there yeah they've got the center one here yeah point. Yeah, the center one here is getting pushed up here, but look how quickly the rotation of all the players come on. Mm-hmm. They don't even care half the time. They're jumping off of the wall. He jumps. I don't know what Daddy Pool just did there, but he just jumped off of the wall onto the siege tower from that little barricade bit. But they're starting to cap the point here with general combo on the point with berserkers. Jack is going to try and stop that one as he goes over uh, to fight against general combo. But it doesn't look like really the trebs are doing player, any damage this either. Might not be making it. Yep. I'm surprised they've not killed their own players yet with their own trebs there, because it was right on top of the siege tower, pretty much where all the mm-hmm. heroes were. And why is, you know, why is there's like double the amount of units for the defenders? There's still two more hero advantage. Look at David Point again. Just done it, done it again. He just jumps off of the siege tower onto the siege tower to take all these heroes away. Look, every single time. That's a fantastic leap of faith there he's taken to jump onto the treb and the siege tower, sorry, not the treb. Look at the unit disparity now as well. The attackers have one for one fight. push and that's probably like half people. trash as well. Yeah, exactly. In terms of units pushing, they've, they've still got some decent units. Some defenders are in there, but there's berserkers for the most part. So the unit count wise, it's not really that many, but they can do a ton of damage. But it just depends. It's ISGs that are stopping mm. anybody get on the wall. So like even the berserkers yeah. can't get past the ISGs. So and he's got to be one minute fifty two. With the cap, but that's not going to do much. He's trying to block it. Surakun's trying to speed. cap A here, but Jex went back to try and defend that once again. But so many players still using the muskets, just dealing so much damage and nothing that they can do on the attack. Yeah. Free, like Looks like Sloss finally for the first time make it up on a wall. Actually, I wonder if uh, no beaches are actually going to full retreat here because it looks like seems they, seems like they it. It seems like they're it. giving it. They're going to get A here, I think, with like forty seconds remaining, and then. Or the hero's just going to keep constantly jumping back on. Ghost X is fighting for the A point here on himself, like with four heroes around him. And he's the only hero left for No Beaches that's pretty much close to stopping A. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a cap of A, but there's going to be no units really to do anything. They've used pretty much all their trebs. They're down to three trebs on the attack. Only 210 units left. Yeah, the no British guys simply ran out of units there. They, they didn't have they, enough units to get back on the wall. Jump off the point and stopped capping the point. Like, what are they doing? General Combo Ooh. is running around as a horse, but keeps forget like coming off of the point, so they're not actually capping it, and they're just wasting time. I don't know. Do they, they want to cap it? I think they might up? be debating whether they actually want to cap it or not. Yeah. yeah. I think, they what do they get? Be. They get three minutes or something, or is it four minutes on this? And they've got they haven't got the units anyway, so what's the point? 167 yeah. units isn't enough to take up base point. It's not, no, it's right. definitely not. But it was an interesting way to kinda of get to that stage go well. We got I don't we wonder, got they, they actually might be treating this game here. 
Yeah, it this feels like that's what they're doing. They've gave yeah. up the game without taking a. Or is Iron Beard? Oh, or is it just a bait? Is it a bait? No, no, no. It, this is it. G. Yeah, G G for that one. No, G G. Oh. <laughs> what a defense! What an interesting strategy as well. Very, very good effort mm -hmm. here from the defending side of No Beaches with so so many <laughs> muskets at the very start. They'd use javelins, Zykelian militia. And obviously ISGs on that wall just to defend pretty much for the most part. Um so it's such a good good strategy. And hero kills, ghost X, top of the top of the list in terms of hero kills on the defense. There's six hero kills he picked up himself, uh 38 unit kills, but the MVP goes to Captain OBS with two hero kills, 64 unit kills, seven assists. Uh Blue Moon with eleven assists. You've got Jack there with sixteen assists, and there's also Ay Ayuku with sixteen assists as well. Not a bad Good uh, team effort from them all. Uh, on the attack, Rigerus, uh, Rigerus is the is the MVP here. With one hero kill, two assists, 35 unit kills, but overall not enough unit, uh, hero kills in the attack inside because they couldn't physically get onto the wall. They couldn't even mount a position to even attack any of the heroes because the muskets were hitting firing them from so far away just using their bombs, knocking them off the siege towers, which was very interesting to see. <laughs> unit analysis wise, um, it's kind of one way here 31 hero kills versus seven and mm -hmm. then at 350 like 60 unit difference so yeah oh just what an interesting game now beaches have definitely found a new way to play these games because uh we've seen them do this against Sir slayer on the hidden city map and now they're doing it again again on this map on harbor city very yeah. impressive very 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 impressive so slavs is gonna have